guys welcome back to another episode of going medieval so i ended up rolling a dice we were still tied by um yesterday uh when i was about to go to bed so i was looking at the um thing and i ended up going to chat gbt just so it was unbiased and everything like that and i got it to um roll a dice between after i wrote down um basically what game and what numbers it would be for which one and it landed on a four which just happened to be going medieval so um all right so this is our previous save that we were working on and uh, i remember a lot of you guys wanted um more research stuff done and we can focus on that this this time around we have a lot of um construction stuff that we still need to work on um i think we're mining out some stuff here i'm not sure what's down here clay so we're gonna need a lot of clay for stuff um i think we were using the clay for the roofs and stuff if i remember correctly it's been a while since i played this game and especially this save so um let's see here i wanted to improve the market as well that's not like a huge great market so maybe focusing on that as well and just general gameplay i think like battles and trading and stuff there's been a few updates as well since then so um i did get that water in but i remember i couldn't get it past the barrier here so we just kind of have it like sitting like this and i remember it wasn't like actually spawning any fish so i'm not sure if there's really any benefit to it just yet we'll let it run its course and see if any fish do spawn if not then i'll see if i can't find our way around that but um We'll give it some time, I think. Uh, we, we do still have to get resources out of here, though, and mine all that out, so. All right. Um, as far as the wall is considered, I think we were working on that as well, uh, creating this kind of system here uh, for people to walk on. And we got it all the way up to about here, but we need to mine all this stuff out. And I think... Okay, we're taming apparently one of those up. Deer. It's young. I'm just trying to figure out what I was doing before because it has been so long. There are wolves out here, so we might want to take care of those if we're taming up deers. Uh, I'm not sure if there's another deer that we're taming up. Quite possible. Uh, da, 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 da. Not seeing... Oh, there's another one. All right, so.
Alright guys, so we got some... Um, I, I started working on the jobs a little bit more. I restructured them because there were some changes to jobs. Some of the settlers um, no longer like certain things. Uh, we don't have that much uh, settlers that don't like things. Like There's only like three settlers that don't like things, but... Uh, hunting, unwilling, and then there's artist and tour for research. I've tried to balance out things as best as I can, but um, some things like um, mining and stuff overlap and their skills aren't that good with that particular thing. So I'm hoping over time that they will kind of improve. But um, uh, with research, I've kind of made sure that everyone that's willing can actually go ahead and do that. So if they don't have any additional tasks, then they'll be kind of go and do that uh, before pretty much the end. But that's like towards the end of the uh, thing, we might be able to uh, get some of the other people a little bit higher, but it's unfortunate because this guy was, we were working, I think, on this guy for um, research and it's not that great, so. All right, anyhow, um, let's just check here. We'll tell them to harvest those as well. I don't think those are supposed to be going to seed. I think that's just um, ripe, so that's not really what we want. Um, as far as everything else, I think what we're going to start working on is, oh, I need to figure out where all the resources are. I think some of them are under the walls here and stuff, but, um, we got our, what do you call it, the, uh, cloth and stuff over there. I'm not sure. Okay, so that's all our wood. So we got tons of wood. We got some stockpile for resources that need to be broken down. Uh, tons of sticks. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is we're going to start working on the research. I noticed that we were not exactly in the green. I think they changed some of the prices for the crafting and stuff like that. So um, hopefully somebody can start working on the research and stuff for that. Looks like someone is. So... Yeah, maybe was. <laughs> I think he's eating now. Um, yeah, and then we have other tasks. Like, the beehives and stuff are not working at full capacity because it's full. But, got additional graves and stuff ready. We probably need to put some more down, but we also need um, limestone for that. So, I need to figure out where I'm going to be mining that from. Some mines, we can mine some from here, I guess. Not sure. Yeah, we should be able to mine that. And it looks like we...
All right, great news. I was just um, going through the um, working on some stuff over on the wall side here, and I went around here and I noticed that there are some fish spawning. So I'm going to. I'm almost wondering if it's like random or if having more fish actually helps with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let them kind of do their thing and hopefully in a couple years what we'll have is a pretty populated river with um uh fish and stuff in it so at least that's the goal i'm not sure how it's going to turn out but um because i know that sometimes they go away during the winter and stuff like that so um it's quite possible that it just regenerates over time and i remember it turning to autumn not too long ago so maybe it just needs some extra time to kick in and we might have this really populated with fish given the amount of water that there is so um i've also told them to start mining down here and that seems to be going we have two people writing right now um we don't have the third writing station yet i wouldn't mind building a better library and we can turn this into i don't know storage or something um it's a good building. It's just really small for a library. And I'm, I need to find a place to actually build the library, right? So over here is kind of like our farming in area for our barns and stuff. Um, though I have been working on kind of like a refining area as well. So that we've been slowly working on. And one of the things that I wouldn't mind actually eventually doing is going back and reworking all the wall parts. It's good for it to be um, wood, it helps, but they do plan on adding flammability eventually, and that could cause a major risk for our settlement. So as a you know temp temporary wall, having at least these three parts right here replaced with stone or brick or something like that, um, I don't know if we're gonna have enough clay on the map to do brick but we can definitely start replacing some of the parts that are more prominent maybe around the gate and stuff uh, with like stone or something like that I think stone would look better too but um, yeah just something that I eventually want to start working on and make sure that we are all set up and stuff but um, outside of that uh, yeah we definitely need to focus on building a good library uh, something that can support all three stations um, and has tons of room for books and stuff like that. Uh, I don't. Alright, so I started planning out the, um, what do you call it, the new library, 
and it's going to be pretty big. <laughs> I figure we're going to have like a massive building, probably larger, uh, maybe about the same size as our kitchen. I'm not sure. It's it's hard to it's hard to tell if it's going to be larger than the kitchen or not. I think it's about the same size, or maybe maybe just a little bit bigger. I think it's one, two, three, four. I don't know. Uh, but there's going to be multiple floors um, because we're going to need a lot of space for bookshelves and stuff. The general idea is to have these spot these spots open for each floor and then we'll put like railings on the upper floors and stuff like that and then there will be a staircase in the middle and then there's these walls over on these parts that can basically be uh, for um, bookshelves on the walls and then we can put like bookshelves up against the pillars and stuff later on uh, that will I think it will have two entrances one on this side and then one on this side and then the opposite side will be about the same. So they will be larger than this, I for sure, for the library. And I figure we'll have to buy resources for sure. I'm not sure what we'll have, how we're going to obtain those. But um, building a lot of it out of um, limestone brick block walls. So we're going to need a lot of the limestone blocks to do that. I only purchased a little bit of that for the uh, merchant that I think just left, but um, we'll be able to, I think we might even have a caravan thing set up. I'm not sure if we do or not. I'll have to locate and see if we do have one because I'm not sure if we do or not. So I might have to check around the base um, in my off time and see if I can't find it. If we have one at all, that is. Oh, yep, there it is right there. So I don't have to do that. We do have a cato our cartography table. So we'll be able to travel and buy bricks from other factions and stuff. Uh, though that might take some time. But anyhow, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.